Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about the death of Flash and the rise of HTML5. Why does it even matter? Flash was, in many ways, central to the web growing up. I remember the early days, using Mosaic and Netscape 1.1. With these browsers, we could browse the early web, which were just text and images, small images, still images. Maybe there were some animated GIFs. It was 1995. The web was new. The whole of Australia had a one meg internet connection. I now have a 100 meg internet connection into my house. It was a whole new world. Then, in the latter half of the 90s, if you downloaded and added in the Macromedia Flash plugin, you could actually do things on web pages. Things moved, audio played, and then so did video. Things triggered more movement. Games happened. The world of the web had opened up substantially. Entire sites dedicated to Flash-based games sprung up and collectively wasted millions of hours of teenage and older time. Some of the content was actually useful though and included educational instruction and complex simulations. In 2005, the Macromedia company was bought by Adobe and Flash, as well as Dreamweaver and a bunch of other programs, became part of the Adobe stable. But trouble had already started. As far back as 2002, there were nasty vulnerabilities found in the Flash code. In 2007, Apple released the iPhone and it did not support Flash. YouTube created a special format to allow the iPhone to be able to play its videos. In 2010, with the release of the iPad, Steve Jobs famously wrote, Flash was too insecure, too proprietary, too resource intensive, and too unaccommodating for a platform run by fingertips instead of mouse clicks. It was the start of the end for Flash. By 2015, YouTube had defaulted to HTML5 for playing its video content. But what is HTML5? HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is the language web pages were written in way back to the early 90s. It evolved over the years, including features that were missing to begin with. Specifically, style sheets in HTML4 that gave a massive level of control to the page designer over how the page looked. HTML5 was initially released in 2008, allowing a variety of multimedia features and programming interfaces for creating complex web applications. Think of things like Google Docs, YouTube and Facebook. Basically, all of the web interactions today are based on improvements made to HTML, culminating in HTML5 and the HTML living standard. In 2011, Adobe announced that it would discontinue development of Flash for mobile devices and develop tools for HTML5. In July of 2017, they announced the end of distribution and support of Flash by the end of 2020. It's 2021 and Flash is finally dead. The issue is that there's still quite a bit of content still out there in Flash format, and many sites whose content has been long abandoned by its owners contain Flash content. Without a lot of work, these are now lost to the average user. But in many cases, there is no will or benefit to the site owner to update the content into a more modern format. There are a range of conversion options out there, but ideally you would need the original Flash source code to convert them not just the user-facing finished product. If you have Flash content on your site that you own and want to convert it to something that can be used again, please get in touch, especially if it's educational content. I'd really be interested in seeing what I can do to help you. As a user, what do you do? Nothing new. Most things that are important to people have been converted to HTML5, often long ago. If you find web content that requires Flash, Get in touch with the site's owner. At least let them know. They may not realise or understand. While there has been no secret to the demise of Flash, many people don't know what squirrelled away in the corners of their own website, let alone the platform that it was created in and for. And they may not know 
that it's no longer working. You could even send them a link to this video to help explain what's happened. Question of the day. Has the shutdown of Flash impacted you in any way? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And there's a subscribe logo down here that you can click on and then click the bell and you'll be notified of every new episode as it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.